for joining us as we continue our stay in St. Kitts. As you can see, the town is full of hustle and bustle. All the vendors are selling their wares, people are hanging out and socializing. Life is good. This area is called the Circus. St. Kitts being a former English colony, this small roundabout is modeled after London's Piccadilly Circus. Robin Michelle and this is our 2001 ML Super Marimu. Her name is Luna. Come along with us as we sail to new places. After a couple of really rolling nights, we moved our boats over to a calmer bay in front of the shipwreck bar. Like Cute bar who feeds the local monkeys. <laughs> wow. Oh, why do you throw it away? You can try. Oh, he pulled the skin off. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, how funny. <laughs> the Shipwreck Bar has a great food menu and drink menu and has surprisingly reasonable prices. No birthday is complete without a cake. What is this coronavirus? We heard about it on the news, but it's in China. Or is it? We would soon find out. So what do you do when you're quarantined on your boat? You do laundry. And hope it doesn't rain. Because clouds aren't always this been uh, windy, rainy, very windy since we got here. I don't think I lost any clothes yet. It never fails. You get all dressed up and something happens to mess up your plans. So this is the controller that we had made up for our Benzoni lift until we can get it replaced in uh, Martinique, um, get a whole thing replaced. Anyway, uh, water got in it, it was kind of a temporary fix, it had a hard downpour of rain and uh, the wires and stuff in it were all corroded. So thank to Bill's chip, Bill Rouse for your uh, tip on Corrosion X. We took it apart, sent it corrections and stuff and uh, <laughs> yeah, his little handy little nail polish bottle of corrosion X. Got all the connectors brushed down, uh, cleaned up the corrosion on it, and we're, uh, we're working. Uh... Now I'm going to go out and go lobster hunting. Got lionfish. 
But here in St. Kitts, it has been fluky weird weather. It's all that work and no lobsters. All that work. Well, we found three of them. They're juveniles. Uh -huh. So the visibility is really bad. So you can probably see nothing. Uh huh. So we have come across a shitty situation. Okay. Well, it's not shitty, but our toilet has stopped flushing. It was flushing slow. It was getting slower and slower. And now it's not flushing at all. Now we have to get all the water out of the bowl. Someone's 20 years worth of shit, literally. All the pee and crap and salt water, calcium, fills up the pipe. Clean up crew. So that mean the job's done? The job's done. Well, some of us gonna have a nice rum and coke. No, gonna have a nice rum. Yeah, you, you've graduated to the rum and coke I now. Think we're gonna get rid of the coke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Straight rum. <laughs> full, full of water. That's pretty damn quick. And those of you wondering, yes, the seawater valve is shut, so we're not flushing anything out of the ocean. Good job. <laughs> yeah, just the little things, you know, little, little tiny things. Yep. Okay, right, well, let's get this cleaned up and, uh... Yep, that's my job. Have some fun. Okay, let me get you that rum and coke. Signing off. <laughs> Signing off! During the lockdown, all non-essential businesses were closed. Budget Marine was one of those non-essential businesses, except if you're a cruiser. The grocery stores were allowed to open up one day a week, causing long lines to get in and food shortages. Face masks were not necessary at this point, just social distancing. The six of us talk about leaving and moving on to another country, but we are too nervous since all the islands around us are closing their borders one right after the other. Guess we'll stay in St. Kitts. I mean, how long can this last for? Long enough for our generator to stop working again, and for our eight house batteries to show us they're starting to die. Because Budget Marine was closed, we had to purchase our batteries from Miami and have them shipped in. So while we waited for our new batteries to arrive, we found ourselves needing to dock in a marina so we can get power to our boat. Christoph Harbor Marina caters to the mega yachts and the mega rich. We felt right at home. Just a walk down this path, we find ourselves at Salt Plague. This restaurant bar has beautiful views of White House Bay. Couldn't find any information if this place just was closed for COVID or if it closed long before. Those of us anchored in the bay, or in our case, 
docked in the nearby marina, we all come here to hang out and be able to get off the boat and stretch our legs. This really isn't supposed to happen, but we all said screw it. It was just time to ignore the social distancing rules and recommune with one another on the beach. Besides, we had a birthday to celebrate and a song to be sung. Okay. St. <laughs> Kitts, I swim in your water so many days. <laughs> Maybe like 45 or 50. I don't even know anymore. But I've been here a really long time. And it's not a bad place to make your home when you got a lot of time. Woo! I like to swim. <laughs> oh, you got a, got a lot of time. And you like to swim. Swim a long way. Swim a long way. Even when the goats are crying <laughs> early in the morning, they go, Mae! That's Chantel! <laughs> Sounding like a baby crying on a mountain in the wind. Sounding like babies crying. We ain't got none of them. Thank God. No babies on board. No babies on board. Oh, the neighbors. You are so nice to me. All of my friends here, you are my family, and yeah, my friends were living in this country, on quarantine, 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 quarantine. Our new batteries finally arrived. Our friends Wayne and Ray helped us get them on the boat. Uh, social distancing with a mask. <laughs> I did go to town yesterday, but I had the uh, N95 mask on. Uh huh. Yeah. So, so you look like you're ready for battle. But uh, so people, all, that means you're only five percent contaminated. Well, people like the guy in the in the car driving me to the propane. He stops and talks to everyone on the road. He grabs the mask and he goes, "Hey, man, man, man!" He grabs his mask and then he's touching the steering. I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yep. They try, you know, but they don't. <laughs> so like this it. is another reason why it's good to listen to Bill Rouse. <laughs> so normally when you're doing these batteries, you would have to tape up the ends so you don't short them and orc them on anything. But this really stupidly genius thing he said, uh, invention called a rubber hose. So instead of having to wrap the ends and tape to keep it from arcing or trying just to put them in a place to where, uh, you hope they don't grab anything. Two seconds, flip the hose over it. Now you don't have to worry about it arcing or grounding on anything. Voila. Pro tip, thank you, Bill. <laughs>
simple. Just gotta hope the hatch closes now, though. Oh, cheers to you! <laughs> cheers! <laughs> cheers! Thanks for the help. Everybody. We found our nuts. <laughs> <laughs>Now this is a project I've been wanting to do for a long time now. Organize this locker. The mighty shopping warriors have returned. Well, they're on the trunk through the mud. <laughs> oh my god. Remind me that never to go shopping again with Rob. <laughs> Every time I have to wait for hours. Ah. <laughs> In the wake of this Corona-19 virus, shopping gets a little bit longer process. They say you need to wipe off everything with antibacterial wipes before they come on the boat. Here we go. Of course, Rob couldn't forget the good stuff. Here's Rob giving Luna's hole a real good scrubbing since she's been sitting a while. We had pulled out of the marina to stop the hemorrhage of money going out. It's expensive staying in a marina, but so nice. Now it was time to do our last shopping day to stock up for the next 14 day quarantine. In order to share the expense, a bunch of us hired a taxi to take us to town. We first stopped by a bakery. St. Kitts requires all businesses to have someone at the door who only allows in so many people at one time and then sprays sanitizer on your hands. The grocery stores still have lines, but not so bad since they're allowed to be open more days a week now. <laughs> Got the date on it too. <laughs> That's like a ransom thing. <laughs> Keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> And here we're having our last sundowner before we leave St. Kitts tomorrow after being here for 54 days. Thing is trying to blow the popsicle stand. Let's go. Now you're probably wondering where we're going since St. Kitts and all the other islands still have their borders closed. Well, Amel has a repair facility in Marin, Martinique, and that's where we want to go. We spent the last four weeks sending email after email to the MRCC, who are in charge of which boats they're allowing into the country. Well, finally, after five emails to them, they agreed to let us in. Check out our next video where you'll see our generator finally gets fixed, uh, knock on wood, 
and you'll see all the other stuff we do to Luna. See you then! Don't forget to hit subscribe and see where our adventures take us.